it was my intention this morning to raise the continuing scandal of bankers' bonuses and pensions and salaries and your government's refusal to deal with this insult to citizens who are carrying the burden of your austerity policies. And then I heard of the death of this pregnant woman, Sabita Hala Panavar, who died on October the 28th in Galway University Hospital. And I do understand that Savita's death has been investigated and we're quite rightly restrained on what we can say on this tragic issue. But it is reported that she died of blood poisoning after, according to her husband, being refused determination while miscarrying. So there is a, an imperative on this dial to express condolences and solidarity to Safita's family, but also to deal with the issues which led to her death. So, by William Malkovron, a Yanu la Farkelia August Clan Sabita Harkion Shen Fein. There's also an onus on the government to bring forward the report of its expert group and promised legislation without delay to deal with issues involved in cases like this. Now, I know there are strongly held views, opposing views, including within Sinn Féin and across Irish society on the issue of medical termination. But the people spoke in referendum, Taoiseach, and firmly placed the responsibility upon the Oireachtas to deal with the issue by means of legislation, and the Supreme Court ruled in 1992, and I quote, that a termination of pregnancy is lawful if it can be shown that there is a real and substantial risk to the life as distinct from the health of the mother. So Taoiseach, when will the government publish the report of its expert group and when will you bring forward legislation as promised? Thank you, Deputy Taoiseach. Um, in respect of the first comment you made about bankers' pay, let me repeat again uh, that this is a matter that is under review by the government <coughs> with a view to action being taken here. This process was begun by the Department of Finance, has been added to by the Mercer Group. I don't... I don't, um, I don't have any reason to believe that that can't be, um, that that can't be uh, produced before the budget. I don't see why not. Uh, it's, a, it's a matter of intense interest for, uh, for the public at large. I know. Uh, Deputy uh, Andrews, uh, I've answered uh, to Deputy Mar or Deputy uh, Adams, I've answered to Deputy Martin <coughs> that the, um, the report uh, on the ABC case has been um, finished and delivered to the Department of Health. The Minister for Health has a duty uh, to read and reflect on that and has a duty and responsibility to bring it to government um, and government uh, will make its decision on the basis of uh, what the uh, report actually uh, sets out. The terms of reference for that report, as you're aware, were to examine the ABC uh, versus Ireland judgment of the European Court of Human Rights to elucidate its implications for the provision of health care services to pregnant women in Ireland and to recommend a series of options on how to implement the judgment, taking into account the constitutional, legal, medical and ethical considerations involved in the formulation of public policy in this area uh, and the overriding need for uh, speedy action. Um, the group, as you're aware, Deputy Adams, was made up of experts in the field of obstetrics, psychiatry, uh, general practice, law, professional regulation, and public policy. It was chaired by the uh, Honourable Justice uh, Sean Ryan of the High Court. The group met on nine occasions um, and clearly the, the government have a requirement to send a response uh, on uh, progress to the uh, Council of Europe uh, by the 30th of November. And uh, uh, obviously from that, from that point of view, the uh, Minister has got to read this report, reflect on it, and bring it to government, and government will make its, uh, make its uh, decision um, uh, when, it, when it considers it. Do you have Adams? Well, I don't want to confuse the two issues. No, I don't, because we're only allowed to debate one issue. OK, but I want to say that your attitude to bankers' pays and pensions, like your attitude to ministers' pays oh, and deputy, pensions, please. is know totally wrong. But in this... Uh, very, very tragic issue of the death of Sabita Hala Panavar. 
the 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 minister in March and April, the Minister of Health stated that no action had been taken on these issues by six successive governments and that he didn't want to be the seventh. Now we know the terms of reference for the expert group and it's good that it has brought its report uh, forward. The, the Minister did say that he's confident that the group would produce proposals that are sensible, practical and implementable. And you know there is uh, a belief in Sinn Féin that all possible means of education and support services should be in place so that difficult choices of terminating the pregnancy can be avoided by as many women as possible. But in this case we're advised that the woman and indeed her husband actually asked for a termination because the hospital had acknowledged that the woman was uh, miscarrying. Uh, so there's a need for legislation to be in place, arguably. Uh, Thank you. That's long since, you know, 20 years almost. So could you, Taoiseach, on this very, very sad day for this family, simply indicate to us when that legislation will come before the dog? Thank you, Deputy. A tragic case. And I am not going to say anything in this House here without being in possession of the facts. I've read the reports this morning. I've listened to uh, commentary about this matter. Um, and, and Deputy Adams, there are two uh, investigations taking place at the moment. I think it's only right and appropriate uh, that, that the facts be determined by both of those investigations, that they be presented to the Minister for Health, and that he bring the findings of those reports uh, to Cabinet, that they be uh, published, and that we decide what is the best thing to do. Uh, anything that we can do will not bring back, uh, will not bring back uh, the, the, uh, the good woman who has, uh, who has passed away. Um, I've read out for you the terms of reference of the uh, expert group dealing with the ABC case. And I confirm again to you, it was delivered last night. The minister hasn't seen it. He hasn't read it. He has a duty and responsibility to do so. Bring the report to government, uh, and government will make a decision based on the options that are set out in the report, which was part of their remit. Thank you. Deputy Ross. I, Deputy Ross, I, what, I, what I'm saying to you is that the report, the expert group, were asked to present a series of options that would um, to examine the judgment to elucidate its implications for the provision of health care services to pregnant women in Ireland, to recommend a series of options on how to implement the judgment, taking into account the constitutional, legal, medical and ethical considerations involved in the formulation of public policy in this area and the overriding need for speedy action.